Shut this shit down, man. Full to Missouri. Know. Come down here, you get oh, fucked sorry. around, boy. Yeah, that real active shit. You hear me? Better get with it. Get rolled over. Where we at? Where we at? Being full. You hear me? Best, best five work show around. Y'all like that show, y'all get? I don't get a live footage of the fire station. They like the show they put on every year for y'all. Yes, sir. Sheriff's just rolled by. Sheriff's just rolled by. Fuck you, You guys worried about our collateral? Collateral damage? What? What the fuck? Welcome back, everyone. I'm Drone Tech, and while I usually stick to just doing media corruption videos, today I wanted to share something really disturbing that I found on YouTube while looking for firework videos. I'm getting ready to shoot off a bunch myself, and I wanted to show my kids what they're going to look like. And then I came across this video of a so-called fireworks war in a town called Fulton, Missouri. Now, don't get me wrong, I love fireworks, but this is just completely insane. An entire neighborhood lighting off fireworks at each other and innocent people while the police just stand by and watch. This obviously begs the question, who's looking out for the innocent people that could be seriously hurt, burned, or even killed by these projectiles? But the cops be like... This brings us to another clip I found from the same area where a mother came out with a gun when these people were shooting fireworks at her house, scaring her kids. War became unstructured and chaotic leading to participants having wild battles in and around the backyards and homes of surrounding neighborhoods. One woman responded by exiting her residence and brandishing a rifle at the young fireworks warriors. Shortly afterward, the woman was confronted by Columbia police officers. So when you went outside the, back the backyard? They ran that way. Okay, and how did you come outside? With a rifle in my hand. Okay. And I will do it again. I don't know you won't. Yes, I will, because that is my backyard. They're shooting them at my bedroom window. They're shooting them at my house, and I'm done with it. They've already marked up my car. They've marked up our garage doors. I'm done. I'm not dealing with it anymore. I will come after them if I have to to keep them out of my yard. It's not okay anymore. I am done with this shit. Because she is terrified. We understand that, and we're no, dealing with it. No, you don't understand it. You can't deal with it because you guys can't get here fast enough to do anything. Do you understand that we have the entire city yes, of Columbia doing this? Yes, I do understand. We have five people to a million people. I understand that. I understand you can't be but here. But coming when we have people with and guns coming out, that's when shit starts getting real, and we can't do it. Well, we can't have that because then they're going to start drawing down on you. What are you going to do when you get shot dead and you're not going to be here for your daughter because you came outside with a gun? They'll be dead first. They won't. Oh, yeah, they will. And you want to go to prison for the rest of your life over that? Over I will. firework? I will. If that's your decision. But I'm telling you, you're throwing a kid with a gun. That in our notes, man, if someone come out here, this happens again. If we can charge you with something, we will, because that is unacceptable to come outside with a gun. For the no, it's not. Firework. I am it is. It absolutely, myself. 100, undoubtedly, is unexcusable to come out with a rifle for the shooting fireworks. What? What the? F <laughs> Who wouldn't be pissed off and ready to throw down? Especially when the cops are just standing by and doing nothing about it. What happens when that house catches fire and kills everyone in it? If the police can't defend you, it's your duty to protect yourself. I gotta tell you, this really pisses me off. Where do these cops get off telling this woman that she has no right to defend herself? They're shooting fireworks. They're not shooting them at you. It's yes, property. they are. They're it's shooting property. them at my bedroom window. Is your window open? No, but it doesn't matter. It'll come through it. Okay. If you threaten a kid with a gun again, you will go to jail for yes, assault. that is. And I'm promising you that. Unbelievable. Who the hell are these officers working for anyway? It's like this mother is just trying to keep her daughter safe while their home is under assault. And instead of looking for these violent mobs, they're all just standing around threatening and intimidating this woman for daring to defend her home. Those fireworks are illegal in most states for a good reason. Because they're very dangerous in the hands of morons. Especially when those morons are actively and purposely trying to hurt people. Unbelievable. They keep saying that she has no right to defend herself, so let's take a look at the laws in Missouri. Missouri self-defense laws. If a person is under attack and in fear for their life, 
life, they have the right to use force to protect themselves. Missouri Castle Doctrine. Missouri recognizes the Castle Doctrine and allows residents to use force against intruders without the duty to retreat, based on the notion that your home is your castle. However, case law suggests it does not go as far as permitting the use of deadly force to merely protect property. Okay, here's the thing though. Those fireworks could easily set fire to that house, putting the people inside it in grave danger. I'm no lawyer, but it seems like she does have the right to announce that she's armed and ready to defend her home. The cop at one point even says, well, the other guys might be armed too, as if that makes his argument. That just means that the cops are putting people in more danger. If they are armed, it makes it even more important for the mother to be able to defend herself from people who are actively attacking her home. This is just more proof that there definitely is something rotten going on in our police forces. Between all the First and Second Amendment audits, which I suggest you all go check out, and now police actively threatening innocent people from lawfully defending themselves from attacking thugs. I believe it's time that we rethink our knee-jerk support of the so-called blue line. That's all for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.